All living things are made up of this. Cells. Cells. These are called cells. By the way, the first <laughs> chapter that we're going to review, do a quickie review, is called animal organization. This is composed of different types of tissues and various things that form these kind of systems. What am I talking about? Organs. These are called organs. Okay. Let's kind of flip rather quickly. This implies that there's only one layer of cells. It means simple. Multiple layers means what? Everybody say stratified. And if it appears to be layered, but it's really not, pseudo stratified. Remember, pseudo means false. Cilia and microvilli are things that give microvilli give more surface area and cilia give the ability to move hair-like extensions that move stuff up out of your lungs for instance. This is the waterproofing protein in your skin. It's called keratin. Okay. This is the kind of tissue that's found in your kidneys. It's kind of a square-like. It protects, absorbs, and secretes. It's called simple cuboidal epithelium. I wasn't being very, wasn't leading you very well with eliminating answers. And I actually skipped something, didn't I? Let's go back to what lines the lungs, blood vessels. It's up. It's in the nose. Uh, it's simple squamous, and it's relatively permeable to water. That's why people put a sublingual B12 lozenge under their tongue, absorb stuff from under their tongue. Let's talk about the next kind of epithelium. This lines your intestines, oviducts. It's called, everybody say simple columnar. Yes, simple columnar. And it's usually adhered to an underlying membrane by a basement membrane. This is found in your trachea. It sweeps impurities toward the throat. It's pseudostratified ciliated what? Columnar. Columnar epithelium. This is what makes your skin so soft, and this uh, vitamin C helps this. It's why you want to pinch a baby on the cheek. Loose, Loose fibrous, fibrous connective tissue. This is the one that you can destroy by getting out in the sun too much, smoking too much, laying in the tan in bed too much. This is what the next one is what connects tendons, I just said it, what connects muscles to bones and bones to bones. What am I talking about? It's dense fibrous connective tissue, so this would be tendons and ligaments. And exactly boring to look at under the microscope, it always looks like smooth muscle to me when I look at it. And I've been looking at this stuff a long time. The next one, it helps insulate and it stores energy in your body. It is also called adipose tissue. What am I talking about? Everybody say fat. 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 All right, let's talk about compact bone. The unit of compact bone is called the osteon, and there are little osteocytes that surround the central canal in kind of a lamellated fashion, kind of like layers of an onion. Rem remember this. If it's osteon, osteon, it means bone. If it's chondro, it means cartilage. Everybody say osteo. Osteo. Bone, Bone. chondro, Bone. cartilage. Okay, very good. And that leads us to the very next one. This is found on the ends of your bones. It's found in at the ends in your nose, respiratory passages. What am I talking about? Everybody say hyaline cartilage. Uh -huh. And these chondrocytes are located within lacunae. Uh, erythro means what? Everybody say red. red. Leuco means what? White. So erythrocyte is a red blood cell, a leukocyte is a white blood cell. Remember that the reason that blood is considered to be a tissue is because it has a matrix which is called what? Plasma. It's called plasma. And remember also that red blood cells do not have a nucleus. There are three different kinds of muscle tissue. They're skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. And this is the one that we eat when we go eat hamburger or steak. It's called striated muscles, muscle, and it's voluntary. What am I talking about? Skeleton. Talking about skeletal muscle. This type of muscle has intercalated discs so that ions can move rapidly from one cell to the other. It's involuntary. It is cardiac. It functions in the pumping of blood. And then lastly, smooth muscle. This is what's found in chitlins, and it is involuntary. 
Let's talk about the functional unit of nerve nervous tissue. What is it? Everybody say neuron. neuron. And there are dendrites that bring the information into the nerve and an axon is what conducts the information away. Remember that the Schwann cells are interrupted by little nodes of Ranvier. Some people say that the impulses skip along the outside like saltatory conduct conduction like dancing. Let's talk about the layers of the intestinal wall. We have the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and serosa. What would be the inner layer? The answer is mucosa. Everybody say mucosa. mucosa. Which layer would help food move through your intestinal tract? Would it be the submucosa or the muscularis? Submucosa. It would be the muscularis. Muscularis is what contracts to move food through your intestines. And this is the outer slip and slide layer so that your guts don't adhere to other things. What am I talking about? It is called the serosa and it's part of the peritoneum. Remember that the muscular contraction of your gut is called peristalsis. Everybody say peristalsis. peristalsis. Very good. There are three layers of the skin, the epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous layer. Which layer is the outer water resistant layer? Epidermis, everybody's got that. Most of the blood is in the dermis and most of the sensory organs are in the dermis. There's a word that I'm leaving out, the subcutaneous blank layer. The fat layer, that's right. You have fat in that subcutaneous layer.